What is up you guys? My name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So, um, one, yes, I am redoing my room if you can't tell by the pride flag right there. Um, yeah, and also behind me is a mess because, again, I'm redoing my room. Um, I'll have a desk tour and a bookshelf tour up soon. So, keep that in your thoughts if you want to come watch any of those. Um, also, I am blonde. And I'm just going to keep getting blonder. Um, and also, I didn't feel like actually getting changed today, so I'm in my best friend's sweatshirt. Anyway, that's not why you're here. Um, so today, I'm actually going to give a list of books that I really hope to read by the end of the year. Um, obviously, I have the books that are on their last leg. Um, but these are books that I want to read by the end of the year because I want to see if the hype that I've heard about them is worth, uh, worth it. Um, so I've heard multiple people talk about these books and they really, really enjoy it. These aren't just books that like everybody like read, whether they liked them or not. These are books that I've only ever heard good, good or great things about. Um, and I want to read them. I'll probably come back when I'm either done with the entire list, which will probably be around the year anyway, knowing how I read or mm, maybe the end of summer. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to see if I liked these books. I do own these books. Um, one of them is a library book. However, I did purchase the book and it's currently on its way to my house. It should be here tomorrow, actually. Um, but I want to get this video up today. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also currently in the middle of that book. So that's also pretty cool. But yeah, let's just get started. Um, I don't have a lot here, a lot to say about these books, but I do have a lot of books. So the first and only classic on this list is A Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. First of all, if you saw this in like all the books I received in 2020, this was on that list. This was a Christmas present and it is literally the most beautiful thing in the entire world. Um, I've actually been looking at purchasing, pur the, purchasing this book before I ever got into booktube um, because this was my freshman year, her, my English teacher, her favorite book. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to read it. And then I ended up finding this the last time I went to Barnes & Noble, which was maybe two, three weeks before Christmas. And I was like, I want this. Apparently my mom bought it for me. But like, it has like the gold foil. I'm trying not to blind you because the light is coming directly at it. Um, and like, it's just black. And the words are pretty big, so I should be able to read this quickly. Um, it's also just not a big book in general. Um, but this is like the only classic other than like Jane Austen that I've seen a lot of people go for. Um, I just don't like Jane Austen very much. So yeah, this is one of the books that I really hope to read just because I want to read it, but also because I've heard a lot of things about. Next is Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So she also wrote The Starless Sea, which I also wanted to put on this list. I just don't own the book and I don't think my library owns it and I don't want to go out of my way to purchase it if I already have enough books on this list. Um, but I have heard a lot of good things about The Night Circus. Um, Haley and Bookland really likes this. I think it was her who mentioned it. But I heard a couple other people mention it and how much they absolutely love it. Um, I also think the cover is pretty. And I also got this book for Christmas, so that's pretty cool too. So this book I've had for a long time. Like a really, really long time. And I'm always like, oh my gosh, I want to read it. I want to read it. You guys have seen it a thousand times. And this was one of the most popular books of 2020, I think. Did it come out in 2020? It came out in 2019. But like, I heard a lot about it. Um, I guess the spring of 2020. A lot of people read this. A lot of people were like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is not a YA book. Don't read it if you're like not into YA or whatever. Or if you're into YA or whatever. But people pretty much made a cult about this book for a solid like three months. And now I want to read it. So this book, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid was very, very big um, around the time that the Black Lives Matter like started, I guess. Um, this was a part of Reese Witherspoon's book club, which is actually how I got my hands on it because my mom pretty much reads every single book that isn't Reese Witherspoon's book club. It's really weird. Um, anyway, I've heard a lot of good things about this book. My mom was like, oh my gosh, you need to read it. And so I'm gonna read it. This is also one of the books that I need to read because it's, you know, not mine. Um, 
so I'll probably get through this pretty quickly. It's not a very long book. Um, so yeah, this, this is just a fan favorite. This is a book, one that came out last year and two has a, like a black female lead. So it's another reason I think this book got so hyped up. Um, I also just really like Cinderella retellings, even though they make me super, super mad. Um, but this also had like a cult like following on booktube for about a month um like the month that it came out and everything so i want to see if it's worth it this is cinderella is dead by kaylin Barron, by the way so this is a book that is a library book um and i'm getting in the mail tomorrow or i should be at least i am on chapter 12 um i'm really really enjoying this so far only because of the relationship drama um and I, I mean, that, that's a good like third into the book. And I know that I can finish it by Friday, which is when I when this was due back to the library. Well, actually it was, it was due back to the library like a month ago, but we're not gonna talk about it. Um, yeah, this was, this is a really good book and I did buy it. And if I like, like it, I'm gonna get the second one. It's called Majesty. Um, but this was popular. And I think it was only popular because it reminded my people of Gossip Girl, which don't get me wrong, the only reason I got this book to begin with is because somebody compared it to Gossip Girl and I need to stop watching it like every month. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to pick up, I picked up this book just to see if it was kind of like it and it's, it's not, I don't really know where that comparison comes in. I might not just be far enough into it yet, but I don't really see the comparison at all, but it's still a good book. Next I have We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Um, the only person, like the first person I heard talk about this is uh, Books and Lala. And then I went through the comment section. I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a good book. It's so great. And then I started, and I looked it up. And apparently a lot of people really, really liked this when it came out. And now I have it. And it's a science fiction. And I love science fiction. And also this is just really, really pretty. So, it became my little brother. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. I one think i'm going to greatly enjoy it just for the aspect of aliens but it was also a book that was super popular for quite a while the next book i have is cemetery boys by Aiden thomas i do plan on reading this probably um around like halloween time if it's if it's you know not the last book on my entire list um i did try to read this last year and that was not a good idea because there was just so much going on in my head and I really just want to sit down and read it and enjoy it because I did like, you know, the 30 pages that I did read. Um, yeah, this, I don't really know what made this so popular. Um, it might be because of the LGBT representation or the Latinx. I think, I think that's what it is. Please don't get mad at me if that's not what it is, but like that rep representation. Um, or as, you know, my best friend put it to me, Gay Ghost Book. This book came out pretty recently, but this is The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue by B.E. Schwab. Um, I've never read a book by Victoria Schwab. This is the first one that I picked up just because I thought it was really pretty and it's signed. So I was like, oh my gosh, we should, I should totally get it. So I did. But um, I've heard it as a devil's love story, but I know that's not true because um, I actually did. I watched a lot of videos where this just like that's completely spoiled because I, I like spoilers. I'm that kind of person. Um, except for American Royals. If you spoil American Royals, I will never speak to you again. Anyway, um, this is about a girl who makes do with the devil and she lives forever, but nobody remembers her until one day somebody does. I was birthed and blood by Sergeant Mass. So, did I see a couple of bad reviews about this book? Yes. Have I seen pretty much every one of like the main booktubers that I follow absolutely rave about this book? Yes. That's why, that's why it's on this list. I've never read a Sarah J. Mass book. I and like I looked up kind of like the synopsis of her like YA series and I was like, no. So I'm gonna try this one because I wanna read her writing. Um I I just I, I wanna try it out. And if I do like her writing, then I'll probably end up going to the library and picking up the books just to see. Because I'm not gonna buy it if I don't like it, obviously. Um but this was literally 14 bucks at Target, so I got it. Yeah. Also, I thought this was pretty. So, 
that's all the books that I that are on this list. It's not a lot. Um, there's only really maybe two of the big books, and that's House of Earth and Blood and The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. But both of them seem like something I would genuinely enjoy. Um, so, yeah. I'm not worried about it. These should be done, hopefully, by the end of summer. Um, it's currently January 13th, and I do plan on finishing either Cinder by Melissa Meyer, which I actually started today, or American Royals. Um, I love American Royals. It's such a good book so far. I'm so excited. Um, like, the, the hype might actually be worth it. But that is all for today's video. Comment down below videos you want me to see. I'm kind of running out of ideas because a lot of the ideas I had for like book and stuff were like Christmas related. And so like some of them seem like not good. I don't know. But on the 31st, I will have a reading wrap up um, of the months of November through January. Um, but yeah, I should have a couple more added to that list by the 31st and yeah so just comment down below if you want me to see I do want to start posting more um and not like just book related because I want to post like you know video like makeup videos and fashion videos kind of like how the channel started um but yeah I just you know I want to post more I want to do things that I want to do and not feel like I'm tied down to one singular thing so that's what I'm gonna do Anyway, that's all for today's video. I've said that like three times. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. All my social media will also be down below. And I will see you next time, whatever that may be. Bye!